Hi everyone, I'm Tanya Cherry and today with GX94's Christmas goodies, we are making brown sugar cupcakes with maple bacon icing. Yeah, that caught your attention. Thanks to Iris Bogaki from Hyas for sending in this recipe. So the first thing that you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I've already done that. The ingredients that you'll need, one and a half cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of unsalted butter at room temperature, one cup of packed brown sugar, you need two eggs, also at room temperature, two teaspoons of vanilla, and three quarter cups of milk. So first off, you're going to mix your dry ingredients together, your flour, baking powder, and salt. After your dry ingredients are mixed together in a separate bowl, you're going to beat your butter until it is creamy. All right, after your butter is creamy, you are going to beat in your sugar and then one egg at a time. Now you're going to beat in your flour mixture and your milk, but you only want to beat in a third of your flour mixture and then half of the milk and repeat those steps with the flour mixture being the last thing that you add and beat thoroughly. Okay, now I have my milk and my flour ingredients all mixed together, and the next step is to pour that batter into a lined 12 cup muffin tin. And you want to fill each um, liner about three quarters full. You now want to bake these for 20 to 25 minutes, and you can check if they're done by inserting a toothpick in the center of them, and if it comes out clean, then they're good to go. All right, it's time to take them out of the oven. Ooh, and they smell amazing. Take a look. I'm gonna do the toothpick test though, just in case. So you insert the toothpick in the center of the muffin and if it comes out clean, they're done. Woohoo! Now we're going to make the maple bacon icing. Try saying that one three times fast. What you will need is half a package of uh, cream cheese, room temperature. You're going to need one and three quarter cups of sifted icing sugar. I've already sifted it. You need a quarter cup of butter at room temperature, three tablespoons of maple syrup, and bacon, everyone's favorite ingredient. Three strips chopped up finely and you'll need extra bacon for garnishing on the cupcakes after. So what you want to do is you want to beat your cream cheese, your icing sugar, your butter, maple syrup, all until it's smooth. All right, now, once your mixture looks like this, you're going to stir in your bacon. And after you have it stirred together, this goes into your fridge for 30 minutes. It needs to be cooled and stiff when you spread it on top of the cupcakes. All right, we have your maple bacon icing, which has been chilling in the fridge for 30 minutes, and your brown sugar cupcakes, which have cooled now. The recipe uh, makes 12 cupcakes with just enough, enough batter left in the bowl to uh, lick it out, which you always want to do when you're done making something. Now I'm going to ice each cupcake with the icing, and then you garnish it with your cooked bacon. Doesn't this sound amazing? All right, so now I'm garnishing the cupcakes with the bacon. And the icing is a little chunky because I might not have uh, chopped up my bacon fine enough, but really, who's going to complain with big chunks of bacon in their uh, icing on their cupcake? I don't think anybody is. These look amazing. I'm going to try one right now. Whew, which one should I try? Thank you, Iris Bogaki from Highest, by the way, before I try this one, which has a lot of icing on it. Those are really delicious. And it's actually not too sweet. And you have a whole bunch of bacon on top. I love it. Thanks for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Tune in every Friday for a GX94 Christmas goodies baking video. Now you can get this recipe on my blog. Plus, I'm always interested to see what you're making this time of the year. So send me a recipe by emailing me, by Facebooking me, snail mail, any of those options are perfect. You can even drop it off at GX94. Plus, you can see what's new with GX94 by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and our new GX94 app. All of these links are below. We make it easy for you. And you can subscribe to our YouTube page by clicking right here.